watch this video or any of the other FreeCMS help videos, log into your FreeCMS account, click the View Help link, and then click the Videos link. In this video, we will help you get started with FreeCMS. As an example for this video, let's say I built a website for my client using my favorite web design language and software. The first step in making the site work with FreeCMS is to go through the web pages of the site and mark the content that can be edited. For this example, we'll say that my client wants to be able to update the main image, the waitlist header, and the waitlist body. To see how I make that content editable in FreeCMS, we'll take a look at the web page source code. To make an image like the main image editable, I simply added a CSS class of editable to the image tag. I also added the name attribute to give the content block a user-friendly name. This will make it easier for my client to identify the image when making content updates. The title attribute can be used as well. To make text-only content like the waitlist header editable, I added a CSS class of editable-t to the tag surrounding the content. Using the CSS class editable-t means that my client will only be allowed to enter text and not HTML when updating the content. To make content containing text and HTML like the waitlist body editable, I added a CSS class of editable to the tag surrounding the content. Using the CSS class editable means that my client will be allowed to enter text or HTML when updating the content. Once we've identified the editable content, the next step is to add the website to FreeCMS. We'll start by logging in. To log in, click the login link in the upper right hand corner. Enter your login and password, then click login. I'm now at the home screen of my FreeCMS account. You can see that I don't have any website set up, so I'll click the add website button to set up my website. I'll start by giving it a name. This name will be used by my client and myself to identify this website. Next I'll enter the root URL for the website. After that, I need to specify the FTP settings to access the website. FreeCMS works by FTPing files back and forth between the server hosting your website and the FreeCMS server. We'll start by entering the server name or IP address. The server hosting my client's website is set up to use the FTP protocol on the default port of 21, so I don't need to change either of those values. As the final step, I need to browse to the website homepage. This helps FreeCMS determine where your website files are located in your FTP account. In this example, my website files are located in a directory named public underscore HTML, and then a subdirectory named littlehorse. The homepage is a file named home.html. Now that I've specified all of the required settings, I'll click the Save and Close button. As you can see, the website is now successfully set up in FreeCMS. Now that we're done setting up the required information in the Setup section, we'll update the other sections. For now, I'm going to skip the Options area because it contains some of the more advanced features in FreeCMS. The next step in the process is to select the web pages on our website that contain editable content and our client should be able to update. To do this, I'm going to click the Add Web Pages button. You can see that a list of all of the website files are displayed. The one page that I wanted to make editable was the home page, so I'll check the box to select it. If you have a lot of web pages to add, you can use our Find Web Pages wizard. It'll automatically go through all of the files of your website and identify which ones have editable content marked with an editable or editable-t CSS class. In this example, we're only selecting one web page, so I'll click the Save and Close button. Now we're done selecting the web pages with editable content. The final step is to create an account for our client to use when accessing FreeCMS to make content updates. To do this, I'll click the Add button next to Editors. I'll start by entering my client's name. Next, I'll enter their email address and password. The email address and password are the login credentials my client will use when accessing FreeCMS. Once I'm done creating the editor, I'll click Save and Close. If you'd like, you can have FreeCMS send a welcome email to your client with their account details. 
To do this, just click Send Email. For this example, I'm going to skip. Now you can see that my editor has been set up. At this point, I'm done configuring the website in FreeCMS. Before I let my client log in to make content updates, I'm going to give the system a quick test. I'll start by logging out of my account and logging back in with the editor account. The first time your client logs in, they'll be asked to change their password. At their home screen, they'll see a list of websites and web pages they have permission to edit. In this case, they only have permission to access a single website and a single web page. I'm going to click the home link to edit content on the home page. You'll see that when I go to update content, FreeCMS lists all of the areas of the web page where I can update content. I'll start with the page properties and go through all four areas. For this website, the page properties lets me update the title, the meta description, and the meta keywords tags. The next content block I can update is the home page image, followed by the waitlist header and the waitlist body. In this example, we'll make an update indicating that the waitlist is full. Notice that since I marked the waitlist header with a CSS class of editable-t, I can only enter text. Next, we'll update the waitlist body. Notice that since I marked the waitlist body with a CSS class of editable, I have a full WYSIWYG editor that lets me enter text or HTML. I'll make an update to the body. Now that all of my changes are complete, I'm going to publish my changes to the live website. FreeCMS tells me which content blocks have changes and lets me enter notes about the changes I made. In this example, I'll just publish the changes. After the publish is complete, I'm brought back to the web pages page and given a link where I can check my changes. Notice that my changes are now visible on the live website. At this point, we're done configuring the website in FreeCMS and can allow our client to log in and make content updates. I hope you found this Getting Started video helpful. If you have any further questions, please post to our forums. We try to respond to every post in under 24 hours.